My brother Burke piloted Granddaddy's 1946 Air Coupe December 2021 on an aerial excursion from Charleston, South Carolina, past Deberdew Beach along the South Carolina coast, just north of developed Cherry Grove Beach's Wadey's Island, a natural undeveloped barrier island. In January, I returned to paint, rolling brushes to capture tree lines. A palette knife tip renders the tops of pines. As sunlight dances on the marsh colors, change and heighten. It is such a joy to be outside and paint and capture color. From the causeway is the first painting of this adventure. Facing the opposite direction, looking at the pristine waters and the north end of Wadey's is a totally different scene, watching the tide recede. Oyster Beds is the name of this painting. Around 500 acres, three miles long and a half mile wide, Wadey's Island is one which needs to be protected for future generations. The Nature Conservancy is the easement holder for Coastal Carolina University Marine and Wetlands Department's third of the island and uplands called the Ann Tillman Boyce Reserve. The Tillman Boyce family owners have been wonderful stewards of this rare jewel. Painting on the southernmost end of Wadey's, a great blue heron came and sat on a branch for most of the time eyeing me cautiously. The rising tide and the setting sun forced me eventually to move quickly, but the finished oil of Cherry Grove Inland really vibrates with the energy of that location. We are experiencing increasing development and loss of natural coastal systems. Wadey's Island is a crown jewel in the midst of the highly developed and highly impacted Horry County. But until under permanent protection, the development remains a threat. South Carolina Environmental Law Project is working to support ultimate permanent protection of Wadey's. Nestled between the high dunes, listening to the gentle crash of waves, the third painting on Wadey starts to formulate. As an artist, I listen to my intuition and do not contemplate what marks to make or tools to use or the colors for the palette. Starting with the horizon and elements in the background, the ocean and dunes begin to form. Gambling oils are my primary choice with their solvent-free gel as medium. Dunes is the name of this artwork. These are the high dunes on the north end that are currently in a state of accreting or building sand. My parents' ashes are in these waters. To my right is North Carolina's Bird Island and Little River Inlet. When you sit in nature, you become more aware of constant change all around you. The oils take over as the clouds pass overhead, threatening rain. Belgian linen double-primed archival panels are my preferred surface. An Estrada easel and all the supplies fit into a 35-pound backpack. This plain air is truly gooey. Thinking about Van Gogh, but I have no desire to cut off my ear. Wadey's North Dunes is the last painting of this excursion. 
Thank you, Corey McIntyre, for the drone footage and helping me tote my supplies and make sure I have water and food breaks, that I don't get snake bit. This film is her baby, but we did it together and we had so much fun. I like having a friend with me when I paint. As Brother Burke safely navigates home in the sunset, we smile and count our blessings. It's another brother-sister trip that's just so much doggone fun.